Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Good weekend for apple picking here in southern New England. We do have a warm up ahead that arrives midweek, but until then, a couple of chilly days in store for us. Let's get a look at Newport. We are looking at dry skies at the moment. Great visibility, live radar. No rain out there. Not concerned about that, unfortunately, uh, because uh, we know we can certainly use it. I don't see the chance of rain really for the next seven days at least. Threat tracker tonight, Monday, Tuesday. Low chance for any severe weather, but yeah, we have that frost advisory. So some patchy frost north and west of the Providence metro area, northern Bristol County, Massachusetts as well. Also have that high surf advisory. We got some pretty big waves uh, tomorrow, maybe up to 10 foot waves possible, maybe a little higher than that as we get into Tuesday. It's for ocean facing beaches and South County, Newport County, southern Bristol County, Cape Cod and all the islands. High surf advisory into Tuesday. Temperatures right now already into the 30s, 36 Taunton, 38 in your bed. 38 Smithfield upper 40s though in Newport and uh, westerly right now at 43 clear skies across all of the northeast most of the eastern seaboard as a matter of fact two tropical systems we're watching this is beta back in here across the Gulf of Mexico this here is another storm we're watching Teddy Satellite imagery shows a well-developed storm system. You can see all those bright reds right around that center of circulation, helping to kind of keep this storm going. It's a Category 2 storm, winds of 105 miles an hour, expected to pass east of Bermuda. Good news for them, good news for us. That storm passes well off to our east uh, come uh, Tuesday and into Tuesday night. However, we'll be seeing some pretty big waves. We've been talking about this for quite a few days now. We are expecting tomorrow maybe five to eight foot waves, maybe some up to 10 feet. And as we look at uh, Tuesday, uh, storm systems right off to our east, we'll see some pretty big waves, maybe six up to 10 foot. Wouldn't surprise me. Some 12 foot waves just offshore. And then on Wednesday, it all begins to ease. What does that mean? for us stay out of the water uh, especially if there's no uh, lifeguards at beaches which this time of year there's none uh, dangerous rip currents are possible and also stay off rocks and jetties as well you can get those big waves that could uh, suddenly sweep you into the ocean school day forecast for tomorrow lots of sunshine chilly start 30s and 40s across the area kids will need the jacket in the morning maybe even in the afternoon we're still looking at temperatures only in the low to mid 60s 64 Charlestown Narragansett 62, Newport 64. Lots of sunshine everywhere. Still pretty breezy as well. Wind from the north, northeast, 10 to 15 miles an hour. Situate, Johnston, Providence, all in the low 60s. Fall River, Freetown, New Bedford, about 60, 62 degrees or so with lots of sunshine. Here's that seven day forecast. Now on Tuesday, we're getting into the upper 60s to around 70 degrees. On Wednesday, there we go, up to 75. That's above average. Thursday, Friday, and into the weekend temperatures remaining above average lots of sunshine but yeah not much of a chance of rain maybe a little bit next weekend 10 to 20 percent chance of a couple of showers here and there but that's it but uh, if you want the dry weather this is the week for you good uh, good week to wash your car too yeah and if someone wants to watch those big waves any suggestions of where we can go stay far away from the water's edge in Narragansett it's a great spot along always, the seawall always with some lunch too yeah all right thanks so much coming up in Sports next. Highlight.